John Dennison, co-founder of the World Rugby Memorial. 2020 marks the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. Perhaps a greater reason this year to remember those rugby players of the past. Sadly, we are facing restrictions in many countries due to the COVID virus today, which will restrict many people and their planned tributes. Usually, I would be attending a ceremony marking November the 11th or be at the World Rugby Memorial. This year, like many others around the world, I will mark the moment with my own personal tribute. At World Rugby Memorial, we remember not just those who served their countries and played our great game, but all victims. Alongside our friends and colleagues from the game of rugby, we will remember them. Brian Rolfe, Ambassador of the World Rugby Memorial. As the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month approaches, now is the time for remembrance, when for two minutes in silence, rugby players everywhere can put their hands on their hearts, bow their heads, and thinking of those rugbymen who have gone before, reaffirm our promise that we will never forget them. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn them. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for their tomorrow we gave our today.